How's it going gamers? It is once again that time for the Appalachian Daily Report. I am the Maple Warlock. Yes, the Maple Warlock. As I live and breathe. So it's another exciting day here in the wild and wonderful waste of West Virginia. So let's get into it and see what we have on the old pegboard today. So on the menu we've got some craft healing items, which that's pretty easy. You know, you can go over, look, it's got the list here. You gotta craft any one of these five stim pack, you know, some of them you need the recipes for. Super stim packs are kind of like a no-go because they're pretty uh, hard to get some of the ingredients. Healing salve is really easy though. Glowing blood packs are pretty easy because you just need glowing blood and blood packs. Glowing blood you get off of random glowing creatures, you know. Diluted stims, I think you know right from the start, maybe. I can't remember. It's been so long now, but blood packs, I think you do, you know them from the start too. They're really easy. You just need uh, tick blood. Go to go to the lumber yard, it's full of ticks. So like, blood packs, diluted rad, diluted stim, there's three. You learn how to make disease cure, that's four. And you can make, you learn how to make healing salve like in Flatwood, so there's five. Easy, easy peasy. That'd be the easy, those are the lowest level ones I can think of. Level up well. We got leveling up in responder gear, fashnack mask, uh, in Arctos or Flatwoods under 20. We have Willage under 30, Deathclaw Island, which I, that one's, I can't believe they always put that one on there. There's one creature on Deathclaw Island, so if you're going to sit there and wait for his big ass to respawn over and over again, like, good luck, buddy. Uh, level up while wielding a protest sign uh, in a group while you're naked, engaged in PvP. So, yeah, as usual, I'll probably responder gear I'm wearing anyway. Fashnack mask. Kill creatures in nuclear winter times nine. Eh, yeah, that's not bad. Just take a few matches. Make it far enough that there's lots of creatures starting to spawn. Anyway, uh, take a camera picture of a player in cultist clothes and any cryptid. Any cryptid at all. Any cryptid. There's a... The Grafton monster is always in Charleston. And there's uh If he's not there, sometimes there's another one back farther, closer to the dam, that he'll spawn. And there's, like, at least two Snallygasters, sometimes three, between kind of the train yard and the dam. They also don't need to be alive. So, yeah, I know. If you stum if you come upon them and somebody's killed them and they're dead, you, you can st like, try to take a picture. That still might work. I think last time I did it, I actually caught Grafton Day was going, so we took pictures with the Grafton monster up there. But yeah, any cryptid. It's just, yeah, Charleston's, there's a bunch of them spawn in Charleston all the time, so that one's pretty easy to find. Take a camera picture of a player in a clown suit at the House of Scares. So, uh, for those who don't know, House of Scares is way up here on the map, just as you're heading into the mire. There are... Uh, one, maybe sometimes two clown suits that actually spawn at the House of Scares if you can't find one. Like, that's a good place to actually get one. So, uh, you know, good luck with that. I've found them, usually they're laying on the cupboard or on the shelves just as you come in the building and there's another one like to the left of the door. Uh, I've actually even found one hidden in the cash registers through the building. Like, look around. Uh, I'm not sure where else you can find clown suits, but Freddy Fears is one of the, uh, probably the best place to look. And if you can't find one, like, maybe try, like, you might have to server hop a little, since there'll probably be a few people looking for them today, if they don't already have one. And, of course, our favorite, win the quest Hunter Hunted while in a group. Get some, get, get three of your friends, waste two hours earning ten atoms. I mean, yeah, you could probably waste two hours on a lot of these if you really wanted to, but, you know... At least you're running around doing other things. Hunter Hunted is literally like, go sit in train station and wait for the timers to tick down. Because then it's like preparing for match. And then it's readying the match. And another timer starts. And then the match is on. And then when the match is over, there's a, a timer that you can't see that has to tick down before it resets and lets the uh, you let, let you start another one. and So that you know people don't get too angry at PvP and like, oh my god. But then again, as I said, they may have changed that some, because I have not done one in a while. But when I did, it was not fun. It was mostly just an exercise in tedium. Anyway, that's uh, that's the dailies for today, my dudes. Hope you all have uh, some good luck with them. 
and uh, I will see y'all tomorrow for another one. I'm still I'm trying to get some gameplay videos together, but it has uh, it, it's been a little ordeal. Aside from real world things that are happening, uh, I lost my best gun yesterday to a weird glitch while fighting the the Scorch Queen. So that's a thing. So now I, I've got to kind of like try to find another. I got to find a replacement for that. So, anyways, yeah, be good, my dudes. Cheers. Quick shout out to Texas Weeds for uh, helping to support the channel. It's ultra appreciated, my dude. And teamwork makes the dream work.